Good morning. Uh, today is uh, Monday, I think, right? Is that, if today is Monday, uh, October 29th, we just got by the conference call, Paul Formica, first selectman of East Lyme. Uh, we just finished the conference call with the governor uh, and the state emergency management people. Uh, again, uh, we're just giving you a wrap-up by now. Everybody should know what to expect. We want you to stay home. Uh, if you have to go out, uh, try not to. Try to find any excuse not to leave your home. The next 17 hours, 18 hours are going to be critical. The governor has closed roads to non uh, state roads to non-essential personnel at 1 o'clock, uh, so, and all highway uh, traffic has been closed to trucks. There is no mass transit. Most businesses are closed. Uh, so again, take the opportunity to stay home, hunker down, and protect your house unless you're in an evacuation zone. If you're in the evacuation zone, there is still time to get out uh, and use your common sense. If your home has been flooded in the past due to high tides, expect that it will get flooded worse than it's ever been uh, this time. So uh, not only your homes, but access roads perhaps to your neighborhood uh, or to your area or district where you live in. If those typically get flooded, it will create an island situation and we may not be able to get to you. Another reason that we may not be able to get to you is once uh, winds hit 60 miles an hour or above, well, we're not going to be sending our personnel out there after you. Those of you in Pine Grove, we're already seeing water on, uh, from Smith Cove coming out. We will have that gate open uh, so that if you need to get in and out, we'll talk about it at the camp. We're already looking at road closures at Route 156 and Cheney Park and certainly the road uh, down along Atlantic Avenue and those areas are already seeing uh, water up over the road. High tide this morning was about an hour ago, uh, 10, 10, 15 or so, and uh, we expect the next high tide to be uh, about 10 o'clock this evening. And here's what we expect that's going to happen. The winds are going to be such to keep the water from releasing from high tide back to low, and so the next high tide will pile on uh, the current high tide and that's what's going to be the flooding damage. So again, two big issues, excessive flooding and sustained wind. Once we get to 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon, we're looking at sustained winds of 50 miles an hour through Tuesday and perhaps into the day Wednesday. So stay home, stay safe, don't go out. There's going to be a lot of debris floating around. Keep your kids home, keep everything under lock and key uh, and expect some power outages uh, CLMP is on top of this storm like I've never seen them before, uh, but that's still not going to stop power from going out. It will help the recovery efforts, I'm sure, but uh, for now we expect between 60 and 70 percent of the state uh, to lose power. Uh, again, town hall, uh, community center, uh, all of the town offices will be closing today at 11.45 a.m. Uh, our emergency personnel are on and deployed. Public Works, uh, Park and Rec are working together to make sure that our roads are going to be good and clean uh, when we're able, uh, but uh, all of our fire and police uh, emergency personnel are on standby or on working. Again, we expect the tides to be three feet above normal. Uh, information is going to come out on Channel 22 as long as everybody has power. It's going to be on eltownhall.com. Uh, that will be our website. We're going to try to get as much information. Uh, and uh, Julie has got our Facebook page open, East Lyme Public Safety Facebook page. I'm told uh, you don't need an account to go on there, uh, but beyond that, that is my extent of expertise with regard to Facebook. So you may want to call here and find out how to link that up. The number at the EOC is 739-4434, and EOC here, Emergency Operations Center, is staffed. There are people here, uh, and we will be able to help. Uh, answer any of your questions. If you haven't evacuated and you need to and you want to get out before 1 or 2 o'clock, uh, the East Lyme Middle School shelter is open on a regional basis, uh, not only for East Lyme, Niantic, but for Old Lyme, Lyme, Montville, and Waterford. People from New London uh, will be welcome as well if they need to get there. Pets are welcome. Specific rules with regard to pets, cages, leashes, food, and medical uh, needs for your pets need to be provided uh, and there will be a trained uh, animal control officer on staff. The Red Cross is there at the East Lyme Middle School so we have some nurses but if you have special emergency or medical needs uh, try to get somewhere that's more appropriate uh, than a shelter. Of course if you have to get there then get there. 
Uh, what's next? The next 18 hours are going to uh, hold the key to what we're doing. Oh, I know what I forgot. You trash. Uh, no trash pickup, obviously, today, tomorrow, Wednesday. Hold it off until next week. And if you haven't, try to bring your cans in so that they don't become uh, projectiles into the, uh, into the streets uh, as the winds pick up. Also, with regard to recycling, no recycling this week. We're going to do double recycling next week. Uh, and again, we're, we will do our very best to get us through the next 24 hours. And then we'll sit and recess. And we'll just begin to put the pieces together uh, after that. And, you know, we've done it in the past, we'll do it in the future. Uh, so uh, the first part of what we have to do is to be safe uh, and uh, be steady at home and, and do the best you can uh, for the next 24 hours. There will be another re uh, state conference call at 4 o'clock today. I will continue to bring you these updates. Again, communication through Channel 22, eltownhall.com, the website, the Eastline Public Safety Facebook page, uh, and here at the EOC 860-739-434. Uh, so give us a call if we can help you, but otherwise, good luck, use good common sense, and stay safe. And I'll be back to see you later on today. Thank you.